Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual Generation. So today we're going to be doing more tutorials on how to play the game or play real life. So today we're doing Ritual Monsters. Um, probably easiest to do it on here because I don't have as many Ritual Monsters as I want in real life. Gonna get more, don't worry about that, I'm gonna get a Necro's deck, um, which I'm really looking forward to at some point. Um, uh, then I'm gonna, um, anyway, uh, Ritual Monsters, yeah, <laughs> let's move on to Ritual Monsters. Ritual Monsters, I did mention, um, before when I tried to do this earlier, it didn't work, I, I forgot something, I went back and edited it to my deck. Um, Ritual Monsters are a bit like Synchro Monsters, I was saying, because instead of a tuner, you use a spell, but you have to use monsters to equal or, well, not really like Synchro, because it's either equal or more than the um, level of the Ritual Monster that you're going to summon. Okay, so we've got two Ritual cards in our hand, the rest of the monsters are just Ritual Fodder, a uh, couple of mechs, um... the Majestic Mix. I mean, obviously there's going to be something about them, but I just never want to see it. I suppose I could use his effect to yeah, um, um, Majestic Mix special ability. Let's go. So the Ritual cards, reminder, you have to have the Ritual cards uh, the ritual monsters themselves, the ritual spells themselves, and any monsters that you need in your deck to um, summon them by. Uh, you can, you can use um, ritual monsters, fusion monsters, and synchro and pendulum monsters um, as monsters for a ritual summon. Uh, so don't be afraid to have a couple of them as well if you want to, because it might be able to it might, you know, some using instant fusion to bring out a um, fusion monster might actually really help you get your ritual monsters out. Uh, stuff like that. Um, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So this might this might be a little bit of a long. Uh, we'll use Senku special ability to draw another card when we um battle. So we'll battle this dude. Don't mean to activate his card. I don't mean to activate that, but I guess it's another. So let's hope that we draw into a ritual monster or something interesting. No, nope, and the majestic mech. No, nothing really interesting there. I mean, I guess his whole point is to draw monsters, but draw draw things. Because I got him with the Star Seraph deck. Still didn't really understand the point of him. I mean, I guess we can wait for the Storm Face Down card. I am not destroying myself because of that. That was such a stupid thing. <laughs> um, so this is pretty much it. Um, ritual monsters are a pretty much a waiting game. Because uh, unless you have a deck that's really geared around it, like Gishki or Necros or um, uh, Prediction Princess, you're um, it's really hard to play with ritual monsters. Of course, you can have things that are really general, like uh, Chaos Max Ritual and um, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Um, another ritual, ritual spell. So I've got three ritual spells in my hand. Um, not really uh, helping me. Uh, let's just hope I get a ritual monster. So all of the ritual monsters in my hand, ritual cards in my hand, I have monsters for. Um, I guarantee you I'm going to draw, like, Northwind Co. And I don't even have... Well, I don't even, like, have this spell card in my hand. But we definitely have enough monsters in our hand to summon. All of the monsters that I put in... 
And if I get a pre-preparation of rights, I'll be very happy. Which, uh, as I mentioned in my tutorial video, pre-preparation of rights is an incredibly good card. Because it allows you to add um, one, spe one ritual spell, a monster, and then the corresponding ritual spell card to them. Uh, you also have other ones that allow you to add ritual monsters followed by a ritual spell, not necessarily the other one. Um, you know, ones that allow you to add one from your graveyard or your hand. Um, yeah, okay, there we go. That is the third Majestic Man Ochre. What is the actual chance? So how's your day, guys? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> oh, I could have put Mason the on the on the floor, I guess. Um, so in my hand I have Super Soldier Ritual. Um, so you summon Black Luster Soldier Ritual monsters. A Black Illusion Ritual, which you do get from beating Pegasus in this game, so you don't have to buy the, um, Toon Deck. Uh, and the Zero Ritual, which you also get um, from when you buy Pirate Bandit. Uh, I got this from a card pack, I think, uh, and I got the Ritual Monster from the card pack, I think, so, which was very, very lucky. Um, you do get Ritual Monsters from card pack, it's quite bad. I got Sephira Queen of Dragons from doing that. I was actually really, really happy about that. <gasps> okay, finally, we got something good. So, this was the card I was talking about. So, um, free preparation of rights. Uh, we activate it. It allows us to add a ritual monster, a ritual thing from our deck. I'm gonna add a uh, of light, and now we can add my favourite ritual monster that I have, Sephira Queen of Dragons, to our hand. We're gonna use um, Hem of Light now. You activate the ritual spell. It'll only activate in this game if you have all of the things you need. So then you select your ritual monster, then you have the monster that reaches the required level, in which case we just mech, and then you ritual summon. Boom. And again, that's 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 ritual summoning guys. It requires dedication and precision, but is a very good card when you all come down to it. Ritual cards sometimes have secondary effects, such as Hymn of Light allows um, Sephira wants to turn I can banish the card if I if my card will be destroyed, I can banish that card instead. And um, yeah. I'm Oh there's two things I can do. I can use Sephira's effect. To either draw two cards and discard one to see if I get another ritual monster, or I can use another effect to get a light monster back from the graveyard and get Senku back and just draw a card. But I think it just might be easier to. summon and then um, end the video there but basically yeah that's how you ritual summon and your ritual monsters may or may not have their own effects black luster soldier the original ritual monster just you know on its own doesn't have an effect um neither does neither does a couple of them there are like a lot of the old ones and you'll find that if you're using a classic deck because you want classic deck um they don't have much like use in modern day meta because everyone uses these different effects. Um, so it's basically good. Yeah, some men with the karma. The ritual monsters, I, I, I guess they do add a little bit of like, um, you know, a little bit of fun to your deck, a little bit of like, unpredictability. So, 
have fun using them if you do. Um, I don't use them as much as I should. I only use them if I have like a deck to go with them, like um, my Star Seraphs, you know, light type deck, something like that, or a uh, Fiend type deck, or a Spellcaster type deck, and then use um, uh, Relinquished Spellcaster at the benefit from Spellcaster type things. Um, you know, benefit from the Yami Field spell. ability to help out my other deck so um they have good parts all the way around i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie ritual monsters are quite good and they're quite fun to use a different style of dueling um i use exceed summoning quite a lot like too much sometimes um because i i just find it easy and i like using it i love the chronomies i love photon decks i love uh, the triple d deck incredibly well-rounded. Uh, Synchro, a little bit more specific. Fusion, I find almost impossible unless I have like cards and decks dedicated to it. But Ritual Summoning, you can use in pretty much any deck. Okay, like, as I said, pre-ritual, pre- eh, pre-prescription of rights, uh, you can use Ritual Summoning any deck. And it can be any action you can think. We are not getting any luck here. We might have to end the video here. We might beat Taya. And then the video there, but you saw a ritual summon, got one to pull one off. So that's good, that was basically the point of this video. So yeah, thank you so much you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions about ritual monsters at all, that I feel like you feel like I can cover, or if you want to see more of them in action, uh, please leave a like or comment, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, and but for now let's get the final blow in with Sephira. See you next episode, guys.